what's going on my YouTube people how you guys doing it's been a little bit uh, finally back with another update it's week I don't even know <laughs> I'll put it in the in the uh, description box for you guys let you know it's what week it is and how far along we've come so updates this is what's been going on first first and foremost I want to shout out give a big shout out to uh, my buddy TK TK D H A V you know he had a, a contest on his YouTube channel and I ended up winning it and he sent me out this great syringe right here the feeding tube syringe and the thing is awesome you know I can't thank you enough you know it even helped me it helped me with my scooter Blenny a lot of the food wasn't getting down to him, so it's been helping. Oh, he just doodled. <laughs> oh, it helped. See, he's full. <laughs> it's been helping him eat, and uh, I've been messing around. You know, I don't need to spot feed my mushrooms, but, you know, it could only help. So, um, you know, thanks a lot, man. I really appreciate it. I put a, uh, a link for his YouTube channel if you want to check it out. He has some really good videos, some real informational videos, you know. Uh, you can learn a lot, and he has a great tank, so check his channel out. <clears throat> All right, so as you can see, there's a lot of new things going on in my tank. You know, it might just look like I just dumped these guys in here from the last video to now, but no, I did it nice and slow. Every week or every other week, I put a fish or two in. You know, I took a very, took my time, I uh, checked my levels, make sure everything was good, I didn't just rush the process and dump them all in uh... everything seems to be go going good my levels are on point uh... let's just talk about what we got here so as you can see one of my first guys here is this little scooter blenny i always wanted one of these guys and he's freaking awesome he's awesome so i can get him to pop up his fin when i get too close to him he pops up his his tail fin <laughs> his dorsal fin Nah, he's just chilling for right now, but he is one cool fish. Scoots around the bottom of the tank, just hangs out most of the time. Uh, everything else is doing good. Let's see, here's my two Sabay clownfish. These guys are very fun to watch. They, I, I'm pretty sure they're paired up. I mean, one of them has been trying to hang out with my angelfish, but they, they, you know, I got them from the same, the same fish store. They were in separate tanks, but when I put them together. They instantly locked up and they haven't they haven't really left each other's side yet, except when the angel comes around. One of them kind of wants to hang out with the angel a little more, you know. Fire red, what can you do? <clears throat> so, as you can see, I got a flame angel here. I also got a powder brown tang. I love this guy. I actually just got him yesterday. Uh, it was my birthday yesterday and my girlfriend's mom got me that fish. <laughs> Well, a fish I always wanted, so and he's doing great. Not stressed out. He, you know, he's hanging out. Look at him. He looks looks awesome. Looks like he's having a good time in the tank, swimming around. I got a coral beauty, and this guy's colors are awesome. His blues are just like exploding. I can't even tell you. Um, some other guys. I don't know if I got them from the last video, but I got some uh, turbo snails. Because you know, even though I have like 30 of these scythe snails, those little those little guys on the bottom, um, you know, they I guess they get in between the rocks and the crevices and stuff like that. But uh, as for the glass and stuff, they don't really do too much. Oh, oh there he goes popping his fin up. Uh, he put it down. So I got some of those turbo snails, and they've been doing work, boy. Let me tell you, they are some serious workers. You know, they clean like like crazy. I also got this, uh, what's this called, bullseye mushroom. And this thing is cool. I mean, I've had this for maybe, oops, I had this maybe for two weeks now. And it it it, it almost looks like the, the mushrooms have doubled. These things are humongous. It used to be, they used to be, they're probably the size of a half a dollar, maybe a little bigger now. They're probably the size of a nickel two three weeks ago when I first got it this is one of my first additions to the tank actually 
you know. Uh, I got a blood red, a fire shrimp. This is kind of his little cleaning station back here. All my fishermen coming back here when they want to get clean. And he, you know, he takes care of them. I got this awesome army green uh, emerald crab. And this dude, another guy that does some serious work. I mean, I put him in there within a week. All the algae and, and, and garbage that was on my rocks was gone. I feel like he has like nothing else to eat now. Because <laughs> he just did such a great job. Look at him chilling there. His name is Popeye with his big ass forearms. <laughs> yeah, he's chilling. Got this cool like army green look. You know? And he does a great job. I had I had some bubble algae and it was gone in a day. Gone in a day. He took care of that real quick. Uh, I also picked up a, a rock of lime green uh, zoanthids. They haven't really fully opened up as much as they were in the store yet. But uh, that could be because like every day I see hermit crabs and stuff climbing all over them, eating the garbage that's on the rock itself. So, you know, every time they start opening up, something climbs on it and they all close up. So in time they'll open up and hopefully they'll start spreading and this whole rock here will be covered. That'll be nice because I didn't want to just get the regular green polyps. Uh, you know, it's plain green so it's hard to tell. I'm trying to get a good accurate picture of these guys on the camera but it's not really coming up. But they got this nice like glowy green to them. Uh, here goes another turbo snail doing some work on my cleaner magnet. Uh, a lot of my Coraline algae starting to come through as you can see it there. What up, buddy? As you can see there, you know, it's starting to come back with that purple up. I kind of stopped using it for the past week or so because, you know, I, have a, I don't want to, every time I put a fish in, I don't want to throw some weird chemical in there and have them freak out. So I usually wait a few days. So I've been using it here and there, but it's still doing work. Uh, what else we got going on? All right, the next thing I'll show you guys that I kind of want to ask you about. I got one problem that I got going on. Let's see. Oops. I'm gonna do that. The one thing I got going on <coughs> is with my macroalgae. So my calerpa is doing good. It doubled in size. Two three weeks, doubled in size, no problem. But my uh, catomorpha is dying on me. I don't really get it. You know, I got I got this macro glow 25 watt light. It's supposed to be the shit. And you know, why is my why is my catomorpha dying? It's just not be dying. I heard this stuff grows and grows and grows. I mean, it's half the size of what I got it, and it's all it's like. The bowl when I got it was a nice tight packed bowl and it's all falling apart now and that's all dead under there. It's just kind of falling apart. Uh, I got like 20 ppm nitrates so there's food in there for it. You know since they eat nitrates and phosphates and all that. I don't really get that. You know maybe let's see I, I got no I got no ammonia no nitrites. Um, I don't really know what other possibilities I asked my fish store guys and they had no clue either so you know maybe you guys could if you have an experience with catamorphodion or you give me a you know a little tip of my my little top off just kicked on <laughs> that thing is awesome tons of osmo later get one auto top off I got I got some messing to do I think I'm gonna get a filter sock holder for here and maybe you know, in, into the filter sock, I'm gonna have a pipe that goes almost all the way down to the bottom because I can hear this water gurgling all night long and it's kind of annoying. Uh, all right, I got one thing I gotta tell you guys. My piece of junk T5 light is about to go. I just ordered me a nice little toy. Should be here within the, uh, within the week. I got me some LEDs. That's right. It's um, some new ones that just came out. 
it's totally different than, than pretty much any of the LEDs that you see that's out there on the market and it does an incredible job and hopefully it'll do the same for me uh, I ordered two which should be enough for this tank three will probably be you know good for SPS tank and stuff like that but right now I'm starting off with two you'll see them when they come in I'll give a nice review just on the LED lights but right now all I have on here is one uh, VHO T5 um, white or 10,000 K and one actinic you know so it's not the optimal lighting for any other corals except like mushrooms and, and easy stuff so I will have some LEDs soon and, and maybe by the end of the week I'll have an update on them let you guys check them out you know I'll give you my thoughts on them but I did a lot of research and I watched a lot of videos and even though there's not that many out because it's pretty new but uh you know I'll let you guys know what I think so this is it these are my little buddies I'm going to hold off on any new fish for a little bit. You know, maybe in three or four weeks or so, I'll, I'll get uh, something else. Something yellow. Not a yellow tank since I already got this guy. Uh, you know, think about it. I, I Actually, I had a, a cream angel, a little cream angel. It was probably the littlest one in my tank. And since my emerald crab kind of seems like he ran out of food, the, the cream angel was smaller than this flame angel here. He's probably about half the size. And I came home and he wasn't sick or anything. And my crab must have caught him and was ripping his guts out. So, you know, just so you guys know, uh, emerald crabs are opportunistic eaters. If they're hungry and they're big, they will snatch up a fish. So, just something to think about. Alright, this is my update for now. I'll be back in a few days with my LEDs. See you guys later.